Thank you for joining me for the August Tarot Scope for Cancer. Welcome to your August Tarot Scope. I've shuffled the cards and I've laid them out for weeks one, two, three, and four. We have one that jumped out of the deck. I'll read that at the end. And we also have an Oracle card. The Oracle cards are from the Mystic Sisters Oracle deck by Emily Balavet. And the Tarot cards are the Tarot Art Nouveau by Los Scarabo. The artwork is by Antonella Castelli. So let's start out with the first card. For the first card we have the Ten of Wands. Now usually this is a card that means that you have a lot of work coming up in the beginning of the first week of August. But in this deck it represents a woman who is oppressed by her situation and it prevents her from having peace and rest. So the burden that she carries is the burden of uncertainty rather than the burden of too much work. So that's how we start out the beginning of the month. And then we have the Seven of Wands. This shows that you have worked hard and now you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor, the bounty, the harvest. So rather than in the Rider Waite deck where you're waiting for the harvest, in this deck it shows that she has already put her hard work in. And so her harvest and bounty is one of the sweetness of feeling satisfaction of a job well done or something well produced. So although you are working and producing things, there's a great deal of uncertainty, Cancer, that is giving you some anxiety. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So with the Seven of Swords, rather than being the thief in the night, this Seven of Swords is a woman who is waiting for a solution. She's waiting to figure out how to end her struggle. And in that moment of waiting, she's discovering hope. She's discovering faith and optimism. But she is also discovering that it's taking her mind off into places that are a bit like daydreaming. So she's not really keeping her focus. So she's a little out of focus in this card, but she does have faith and she's trying to get out of her situation. Now this goes along really well with the Ten of Wands. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords and in the middle you have the bounty that you created, you literally created. So interesting first week Cancer, I'm going to say that these might represent your personal situation and this might represent your work situation and they seem to bookend the, the uh, work situation which sh seems more stable. The beginning of the second week we have the uh, King of Wands and the King of Wands represents somebody with entrepreneurial skill. He's not particularly pleasant, he's frowning in this card but he is one that is willing to give advice. And the woman um, who is kneeling next to him is trying to seek advice, trying to seek his counsel. So it looks like you do have someone that you can turn to for advice in your situation. So it's not hopeless at all, which the Seven of Swords told us it's not. You have hope. And this King of Wands is one that might give you some advice. Now following that is the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is an enterprising person who's looking for something new. So this might be a person who helps you out of your situation, although he does tend to be, the Knight of Wands is somebody who travels, who doesn't stay put very long. So he's not going to be a person that sticks around, but he may be a person who helps get you out of your uncertain situation. 
Then we have another king. We have the king of swords. And in this card, this king is also really kind of rough. He represents authority and power and even legal problems. So I don't think that this king is going to be particularly amenable to you and to helping you out of your situation. But the king of wands may, may be and the knight of wands may actually help you. So going from the first to the second week, it looks like you do have even more hope as you go along into the month. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords in the Rider Waite deck is usually the person who is bound and standing with the swords all around her. And in this deck, it's just saying that it's really bad luck to receive bad news when you're fighting. When you're trying to fight for something with all your might and then to, on top of it hear bad news is really, really tough. So this talks about betrayals and, and uh, crises and even fatalities. So don't give up hope. This looks like you've really descended into a hopeless feeling and I want to encourage you to, to pull yourself out of that. Then we have the Six of Wands. And this is another warning card. It's, it's about warning you that there is danger even when the picture is pretty. Um, there's a dangerous and unfair opponent in your path, and you have to fight it. Now, this can all be occurring kind of simultaneously, and I think the Knight of Wands will help you, and I think the King of Wands will give you some kind of information that will allow you to get out of the situation. And who knows, the King of Swords may actually turn out to be on your side instead of opposing you. But if he is opposing you, then this is the person that they're warning you about with these other two cards. But then again, you could have a friend in the King of Swords. He's unemotional, so he's very hard to read for you, Cancer. Very, very hard to read. And then the next card is the World. And this is the achievement, the perfection, the, the culmination of what you're trying to achieve. So it looks like that there's an ending to the weird situation, the uncertainty and the struggle that you're in the, for these first few weeks. It looks like that actually comes to an end. And then we have the King, the Knight of Chalices. And this shows a new person coming on the scene. This is somebody who is possibly a new lover, possibly a good friend. This is maybe somebody you already know, but it's somebody in your age range, and it's possible to have fun with this person and to forget your troubles. That's the, that's the important thing right here, is that this person can get your mind off of your troubles. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is a friend giving friendly advice and helping you. Um, giving you advice in terms of getting away from your adversaries and staying safe. So you have lots of support here in this fourth week of August. And then we have the Five of Wands. And there's still some competition or even obstacles in the way, but this is causing you to really look carefully at your situation. This is not looking at it so much emotionally as it is just logically. Um, there is some labor involved with this card, and it's showing that it's an unpleasant task that you have to undertake. But Cancer, that's better than where you were at the beginning of the month. At the beginning of the month with all this uncertainty, that was no bueno, that was not good. So now let's look at the card that jumped out. Let's look at Temperance. And in this deck, Temperance means harmony, serenity, recovery, moderation, and spirit of adaptability. So I think this card jumped out to tell you, look, it looks like it's going to be rough with adversaries and people really leaning on you too hard and maybe even um, betraying you in some way. But don't give up hope. You are adaptable. You can work through this. You can get where you need to go. 
in spite of these obstacles and hardships. So don't give up hope, Cancer. It is going to be a rough month for you, but I think that you're going to come out on top in the end. And then let's read your oracle card and see if that can shed some light on things. The Mind Garden. Personal Empowerment. Conscientiousness. The image of this card symbolizes how the mind is similar to a garden. In all thoughts are seeds. Take two. The image of this card symbolizes how the mind is similar to a garden in that all thoughts are seeds. If the thoughts are beautiful and positive, the fruit produced will be nourishing and delightful. When dark and negative thoughts are allowed to dominate the mind, they can be likened to weeds crowding out your healthy thoughts and they will produce foul fruit. Drawing this card reminds you to pay close attention to what seeds of thought you are planting and allowing to flourish in your mind garden. Recurring negative weed thoughts should be recognized and pulled so they do not choke out your benevolent thoughts that bear life-giving fruits. Conscientiousness and careful tending are required. And, and I think that really speaks to the whole reading here, that you are in control of your own mind. You don't have to let any of these things overshadow what you know to be true in your life. Well, Cancer, I hope you really think about this reading, and please share some comments with me down below after you've had a chance to really let the reading sink in. I really appreciate you as being one of my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. The channel has grown so much in the last year, and I really hope that we're in for more growth in the, in the days to come. Thank you for being one of the subscribers. Thank you for liking and sharing, and have a wonderful month of August. I know it seems like it's going to be rough, but I know you can make it, Cancer. You're tougher than you look. So with that, I will say take care, and I'll see you next time.